This AI workflow is one that I use every single day now, and I wanted to share with you. So it's using perplexity collections, and it's something really powerful when you're trying to create content or just trying to do research and you don't want to retype out a prompt, you can use a perplexity collection. So let me show you how it works. So if you go to your perplexity account and you go into your library, you can go into the right hand side, you'll be able to see these different collections here. So I can create a new collection. I can give it a title. Let's just say that this is AI research collection. Give it an emoji here. And and once you add a description, so I could just say, I just want the latest news on AI. This is where you would enter your prompt. So you would say something like, you are a researcher who is tasked with getting the top 10 news or top 10 AI news of the day. Obviously you can get more complex here and then you can create it. Now, what we use the collections for is for our website. Our website, we have a database of AI tools, right? And sometimes we wanna improve that content. We wanna give more information to the end user, making sure that content is relevant. And one of the things that we've work is adding pricing information about a particular tool. So in this particular collection, what I have it do is go into a website or a tool site and find the pricing of that tool and then give me back the information I need to put on our site. In this case, if I go in here and click on edit collection, I can just show you this prompt. But basically I say, please go to the URL that I will enter and find their pricing page. Then I'll put the pricing plans in this format. Below is just an example. So this is just an example of a tool that we kind of want to model after and then obviously replace Power Dream and, you know, replace place the example with the actual name of the tool in the URL, replace the pricing. And then after that, give me text in HTML because we use HTML on our site for the actual tool. And then add a summary of the pricing plans and three to four sentences and what each plan includes. So this gives us a lot of context to work with, especially with some of the tools, we just can't find the pricing information. So we need to have AI go and do it for us. So for example, in this case, I said, go to this website, right? PDF Candy, I just entered the URL and it does everything I need to do. So it gave me the pricing plan. So PDF Candy, here's the free, the monthly, the annual. And then down here, it gives me that summary that I requested. And now I can just quickly copy this HTML and input that into our site. This is a real easy way for you to scale your content and do a bit more research using perplexity collections. You can just go and use the collection again by going to your library and then going to whatever collection you want to use. And then just enter, in my case, I would just enter the URL here and I hit enter and it will go do the research for me and give me what I need. So this is a powerful, powerful way for you to do some research using perplexity. I just wanted to quickly showcase this because it's one that I've been using quite a bit.